we are in Australia. We are in Australia. Um, it's freezing. Like, actually freezing. This hostel is so echoey that I am not talking any louder because everyone will hear me down the hall and I can't cope. So, we are going to go ahead out now. I've got a little bit planned of what we're going to do. So, we're just going to see as much if we can get as much done as we can. I'm only here a couple of days, so we need to get moving. So I'm just heading to the Royal Botanical Gardens and I just love Melbourne. I absolutely, my friend Hannah said I would, but I absolutely love it. It does feel a bit like being at home, I don't know why. Maybe it's the weather because it is freezing. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it feels like I keep panicking every time someone comes near me. I've got that camera fright, and I don't know why because I've literally been filming my life for two months straight. So I'm so excited. So, for those of you that don't know, the reason I'm actually in Australia is to see my friends, um, Benny and Becky, who you've definitely seen on the vlogs before. Um, Becky knows I'm coming, Benny does not, so it's a big surprise. Um, I've got only a couple of days here, and I'm annoyed that I only have a couple of days, so I think I'm going to come back at the end of my trip. Um, and then I head to Sydney for four days, and then after I've been in Sydney for four days, I head to Byron Bay, which they live in Lennox Head, so it's not far from Byron. I'm staying in a really nice hostel there, actually. Um, called the surf house and it's right on the beach so that's good I'm not gonna lie have I slept a lot since I've been here yes because I was exhausted so we do have to cram a bit more than what we were going to have to this is so beautiful I literally cannot cope I freaking love a botanical garden I like a botanical garden anywhere, to be fair, but this is probably one of the best that I've been to. I don't even know if you can see me because there's light. Um, just on that photo shoot on my own. <laughs> Oi, I saw a caution sign. It was like, it only said caution steep staircase, but I saw the caution sign. I was like, snakes. <laughs> we are in the plant craft cottage. Cute. This is cute. I can't. It's the tiniest little cottage. Am I zoomed in? No. Am I allowed in? Oh. 10 to 3 pm. Oh, that's sad. It's the oldest building in the Royal Botanical Gardens. But of course, it's not open right now, and I want to go there with it. No. It's a very cute photo, but are we going to be able to get it? No, because people. I freaking love Melbourne. I absolutely freaking love Melbourne. I'm sat on the beach. I've just had fish and chips. I think I showed it. And look. I just love it here. I've just actually um, sat and booked to come back at the end of my trip. So I actually start and finish. Oh, it's got on the sand. I actually start and finish in Melbourne, which is good. Because I really, well, I want to come back. I already was so annoyed that I'd only booked like four days. I was really angry with myself after like the first hour of being here, so I'm glad I've booked to come back. I think I'll be here for another four days at the end of the trip. <laughs>
just taking you into the dining room. Wonderful. Mother is on the screen. She's going to remain quiet. Before I show you this apartment, oh my god, I have been <gasps> to cops. Right, two bags, Lindy. We've got broccoli. We've got raspberries. We've got hummus. We've got veggie pasta salad we've got a muscle chef beef ravioli sweet and salty popcorn would it be really good? we've got boost energize no not energize energy lift apple orange mango and pineapple juice we've got some popcorn chicken that i'm absolutely gonna dive into We've got a chicken tikka masala. We've got... What in all of the sorcery is that? Yes. Don't say a word. And... Yes. And then... Oi. Two yoghurt and oats. That's it. $52. Hello you wonderful people and welcome to Sydney. I got the Greyhound from Melbourne to Sydney. It took 12 hours. I did actually sleep though which is quite good. I got at least 7-8 hours sleep which not bad for not bad for an overnight bus. Gosh when I did Europe I found the Flix buses really hit and miss so like some of them I'd sleep, some of them, the worst one was when I went from France to Spain. It was awful. Worst night sleep I've ever had. Anyway, I need to show you. I don't remember. I knew it was nice. I don't remember booking something this nice. Um, so we've got four days of just bougie. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to give you a bit of a room tour. Um, I'm staying at the Meriton Suites on Sussex Street. Um, it's literally opposite Darling Harbour. So quite um, close to things. So I'm going to start by showing you around. So this is obviously my door. Okay. And then you come here and you have the kitchen. Fridge, freezer, dishwasher, coffee machine. Hello there, my love. Um, microwave, like stove, blah de blah. Then here is the bathroom. Hello, hello. Lots of products. We have hair dryer in here. Thank you very much. Lovely big shower. And then we come back out. <gasps> no, stop it. Oh, she already got a coffee out the machine. Here we go. TV and sofa. I said that the wrong way around. Here's my bed. So I think this one's the studio but they also do like they're all suites basically so this one's the studio um and this is actually the most basic one this is the most basic one they do so um yeah oh and <laughs> miss backpacker over here has got her own washing machine and tumble dryer Excuse me? Stop it! So I'm going to get all of my washing done. Lovely. I need to wash my jacket because I was on the beach yesterday. I was on St Kilda Beach and the um, a bird just decides to shit all down my back. Delicious. Um, I'd show you but it's a bit gross to show you on camera so I won't. It's my new jacket too.
Good morning, my little loves. Oh, it is the first morning in Sydney. Oh, I'm very happy to be here. I need to like have a lot. Let's get serious for a minute. I have a lot on my mind, and I need to start living in the moment because things go by really, really fast. And before I know it, I'll be at home, and this will be a distant memory so we are gonna i feel like i feel like melbourne was a blur because i just i was having severe i feel like melbourne was a blur because i was having severe imposter syndrome like could not believe that this was my life but i am going back to melbourne at the end so we can rewrite that story thank you hola um we are ready the hair is I don't know what to do, it's crazy. Um, I've got a Gymshark set on and just a big hoodie because it's still. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I have a Gymshark set on, that's what I'm saying. We're now gonna go, we're gonna go and do the Honda Takuji coaster walk and we are gonna love every second of it because we've dreamt of this moment since we were probably about 16 watching youtube videos in your mother's living room and now you're here and you can do it you can have the best time i found this really cool um like street food place called spice alley excuse you what the f am i all right Do you gonna leave the house like this are you Jesus. Oh. I need to tell you what I did yesterday. So, I do stupid things all the time, okay? As in, things that normal people do not do, I will then go ahead and do. So I'm looking for the Sydney Opera House, you know, the big giant building. Ew. The big giant, massive building. Looking for that, can't find it, so. I'm walking. Bear in mind, I'm actually walking on the harbour, so not that hard to find. I come across this bridge. I'm like, oh, this bridge might take me to where the op house is. My brain, okay? I walk onto the bridge. I end up on a cruise ship. And I'm not even joking you, okay? Straight up, sh off I go. Boo, boo, boo. Off I go, down onto, the, down onto the cruise ship. Oh, aye, aye, captain. We got a stowaway. Oh, disgusting. I, ra I ran. I was literally cry laughing at myself. I have no one to share this with. I voice noted my friend like, you are never going to believe what I've just done. And she literally would just put back, I'm dying. Because she knows what I'm like. She literally knows what I'm like and knows that that is just a me thing to do. Um, we are just beginning the coastal walk from Coogee Beach to Bondi. Um, it is actually really hot today. I need to take this jumper off, but I've only got a sports bra and um, cycling shorts on, and that's not my vibe. I am. Can you hear that? The sound of the sea literally makes me feel so calm. I don't know if you can see me. Now you can see me. Yeah. Oh gosh, the head. Um, yeah, we're just going to start this walk now. It takes just over an hour. So, let's see how we get on. Let's see how much of a sweaty mess I get. Let's see how many steps we get in before lunchtime. Let's go. Let's keep 
going. Let's keep going. Let's keep doing it. We've got about half an hour to go. Still as beautiful as ever. Loving my life, I'm not gonna lie. Happiest I've felt in weeks. Let's go. a more iconic swimming pool. Come on. We're at Bondi, baby. I'm getting the camera out. Am I recording yet? So we are utterly craving a Masaman curry or some form of Asian food. So I'm going to a place called Spice Alley, which I saw someone go to on I don't know if it's TikTok or YouTube and it's basically Asian cuisine in an alley. It's like a road with loads of street Asian street food so we're gonna do that. I'm doing so much more. Now I just think we're going to go to Darling Harbour now. Well, after my corona. We're going to go to Darling Harbour and have a look around there. Um, and then I'm going to head back, repack, because we leave tomorrow night to go to the next destination. me now please and thank you we are walking across darling harbour to get to the hotel and it's beautiful anyway there's the westfield tower 